Just weeks after the fatal I-41 pileup in Winnebago County, another multi-vehicle crash today shuts down parts of I-43. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nina Sperano. And I'm Johnny Rickson. The crash involved about 30 cars on the Leo Frigo Bridge in Green Bay. NBC 26 is Jennifer Nazza right there. A woman I spoke with involved in the chain reaction crash says she was approaching the peak of the bridge when she saw brake lights and got hit. All of a sudden, um, I just got hit on my passenger side. Morgan Schrader describes scary moments during the crash. Police say just after 8 this morning, at least 30 cars slammed into each other on the Leo Frigo Bridge in the southbound lanes of I-43. Schrader tells us she feared she'd be stranded on the bridge. It's like super high. Um, yeah, and it was starting to get windy up there and the bridge was shaking a little bit. Multiple people suffered minor injuries, including broken bones. And about an hour later, first responders began rescuing, treating and transporting patients to local hospitals. There were a total of eight injuries. Um, currently, I'm not I have not been made aware that any of them are critical injuries. Um, fortunately, we escaped any fatalities. Those who were not injured were taken to local gas stations by Green Bay Metro Transit. When we were on the city bus, I uh, just kept hearing people saying like I was slamming on my brakes and I just couldn't stop. So they were just just sliding right through. Police say due to the size of the crash, it took about three and a half hours to clean up the scene. The Leo Frigo Bridge reopened around noon. They took the damaged vehicles to an empty lot at Bay Beach Amusement Park for further inspection. As for the condition of the cars. The majority of them probably will be able to be repaired, um, but there'll be a handful that'll probably be totaled out. And although it's an inconvenience to those involved, they're just glad everyone's all right. The girl who hit me was pretty upset and pretty frazzled so you know her and I hugged and we were just making sure one another we're okay. The cause of the accident is still unknown. Law enforcement says after they inspect these vehicles here at Bay Beach Amusement Park they will go through video footage to try and figure out the cause of the crash. Reporting in Green Bay, Jennifer Nazza, NBC 26.